Yeah, my modem shit itself over the ho while I was gone for the holidays. Uh, so I'm currently running D and D games from my office on campus. Da -da -da. So, for now, it's just bonus question mark um, that I'm <laughs> very echoey. Yes, it's the voice of God now. Truly. That's the spirit. That's the spirit. Um, yeah, sorry for everything over the break, guys. Oh, good. It happens. It's the holidays. It happens. No worries. Back, and that's what hey. matters. Yes, we live. Nobody died this holiday. Mm hmm. That makes it uh, not the worst one. Crossing a low bar is still crossing the bar. <laughs> Technically. All right. So, it has been a few weeks since we uh, last met. So, last off, when we were, were playing, you guys had just gone into the underground. You'd gone north in Helgedomer to uh, help out the druids who had requested aid as part of your ongoing efforts to get an audience with the Primarch. Um, you'd gone underground pursuing a big fucking rot creature um, and gone hunting through some uh, tunnels underground. And then you came upon a creepy temple um, that was apparently dedicated to this Prince of Stories fellow who is, who Bauer has the uh, helm of. Mm. One sec. Mm -hmm. Sorry, my office mate's just leaving. Which does mean I can go into the less echoey room now. Woo! Alright. 
So, you guys have the temple for Princess Stories. Um, last time we ended off with you guys opting not to go in, if memory serves. And instead to proceed further along the trail of your uh, favorite rut monster. Or favorite. Does that sound right? Yes. Did I miss anything from anybody's notes? think so hmm. sounded legit to me yep mm -hmm. pretty sure uh, somebody stole something way back when who stole what now we don't know that's the problem <laughs> yeah one of bauer who knows Hey the, now. Uh, the proto Bauer. Yes. <laughs> Bauer Alpha. Who knows if it's a proto Bauer or not? Nobody knows. I know. Except, I'm the real one. It's fine. <laughs> except me, and I'm being an annoying. Alrighty. That's fine. So we leave off. You guys have left the uh, double doors of stone behind you. They are still there. They have not vanished if you would like to go in. Um, but otherwise, the road leads onward to the northeast where you last saw the tracks of the uh, rot monster going. Yes, it is. Yeah. Continue on. Alrighty. Onward. Oh. So. I don't have in my notes what time it was because hmm. you last slept there right. you've gone about 10 miles and it's Sadok. does the natural explorer for revised ranger do the thing that lets you avoid difficult terrain uh yes yeah okay. you're that kind of ranger I am that kind of ranger for once <laughs> For once he is. Um, alrighty. Wait a minute, were you the underground kind of ranger this whole time? <laughs> <laughs> also, yes. <laughs> <laughs> he literally is. <laughs> you know what I'll bring on a naval campaign? A caver. <laughs> <laughs> a spelunker. <laughs> <laughs> that seems appropriate. <laughs> I mean, just wait. It's not like there's a naval ranger. That's true. That needs just to be a thing. Now. That'd be amazing. Just wait. Eventually, eventually, I have this radical idea, guys. Mm -hmm. Underwater caves. Splunk, 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 splunk. <laughs> What is there to explore in a belly button? Unless you want to go crawling into the Tarasks. Lint, presumably. <laughs> Been there, done that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <Yeah. laughs> Pat, Pat. Um. All right. You guys have come to, you guys come relatively without incident to another fork in the road. The creepy Myconid singing, 
that I turned off because it was bugging me while I was setting up um, is has uh, returned where it was once quiet while you were near the temple. The rot has returned as well where it uh, did not get closer to the temple. You come to yet another fork. The rod is thick and pulsing here. And instead of its normal purplish gray brown, it's more of a red color. Unusual. Slowly shifting into a sort of reddish maroon. See if I can still track it at all. Give us or get a sense through the uh, uh, Earth Communion. Sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Oof. Figure I roll a survival check. Cool. Well, at least one of us survived. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Cristona, you don't get much in the Earth Communion here. Uh, the Earth seems very, very angry. Gasp. Not very willing I am to shooketh. talk. I, I know, right? Um, but between War Razor and Diggeroy. <coughs> The trail points north. <coughs> Him go that away. All righty. I would like you all to roll perception checks as you go. Dun, 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 dun. Perception go. Wow. Wow. We are off to a great start tonight. That's my second Ooh. two in a row of the night. <laughs> that was my first two rolls. Good job. Well, it's okay, Bauer. Between Bauer and Diggeroy, um, they've got you. <laughs> Thank fucking fuck. Uh, Bauer, you notice uh, something very out of place in the uh, underground here. What looks like a flower. Bauer and Digger, I notice the flower. Bauer notices that it's quivering very oddly as you proceed forward. Lude. <sighs> <sighs> and I know the exact meme I would pull. <laughs> <laughs> Look what you fucking done to us, Flint. <laughs> hey, hey, you killed me. I'm allowed to have my fun now. That was an accident. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> sure. Does not change the truth of the fact. It's true. Okay, so that flower is a trap. It might be a naturally occurring, randomly evolved trap, but it's a trap. We are not surprised with this new rot. If I recall correctly, mushrooms don't normally have flowers, though. They do not. There's a whole extra level of unnatural here. So what you're saying is we should touch it. I'm saying I'm checking to see how many healing potions I have before I tell <laughs> to touch it. <laughs> I heard touch it. Can I have two basic around? healing potions. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how many I got? Oh, I'm good on healing spells. potions.
I'm okay on spells. Hmm. <clears throat> Is there, I mean, like, do we even need to touch it? Can we go around it? <laughs> Is there like- I'm also look like, there's something I can use to like poke it at range. Yeah, is there if anything I, I that can, like, yeah, is there any way of telling what what it might do, like, as... Perhaps well, some kind of sharpened stick. If you want to touch it at range, I have a 9-foot, 11-inch pole. <laughs> <laughs> you do. That seems purpose-built for situations just like this one. Pretty much. <laughs> Let's see if yeah. it becomes a 9-foot, 10-inch pole. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can, I got, I got thorn whip. I can just whip it. Mandatory could, whip. But that good. sounds much less, uh. Yeah, I'll, I'll take I need, I need to get the right kind of hat before I whip it. it. <laughs> All right, Sadok so takes out his nine inch, or nine foot, 11 inch pole. Um. I'm amazed you don't use that in pickup lines. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, but what a waste. And, uh, pokes the flower. The flower pops. And I'm gonna have to reveal a chunk of tunnel here. It, uh, fle Oh, hi. <laughs> and then this emerges from the ground. Is that from Steven Universe? Looking like it. <laughs> oh, I've never seen the show. Roll initiative, motherfucker. <laughs> wow, off to a saucy start this year. Hell yeah. He's going to murder us all now. He's He's gotten the taste of blood, and now he needs more. <laughs> Not with that initiative, I won't. <laughs> Roll your initiative, Flint. Yeah, damn it. Come on, work. That's better. Oh, somebody's shouting in the hallway. I wonder why. Doesn't sound important. All right. Diggeroy, there's a flower monster that just popped out of the ground in front of you. As Sadok poked, po words, poked it. With a nine foot eleven inch pole, what would you like to it's like, do? It's like I gotta remember what my spells do. That is fair. You said it's a monster, right? Because it looks like it will try and eat you if left. Uh, yeah, no, but it's definitely not a person. Tis not. And I don't want to burn that high-level spell slot. So, we're going to just open up with uh, this nonsense here. Oh, that's absolutely a Steven Universe monster. <laughs> sure. So anyway, it needs to make a deck save. It makes it a deck does. save. It takes 12 force damage anyway. Ah. Alrighty. Your time and bomb includes. I will inspire Sadok. Alright, Sadok. Consider yourself inspired, motherfucker. You can with a stealth misclick. I'm also going to move back a little bit. All right. I'm going to say you're about 20 feet from it now. Sure. All right, Sadok. There's a pointy motherfucker in front of you. What would you like? Well, same thing I do all the time. I'm going to shoot it. All right. Oh, 29 will hit, so will a 22, so another crit. 
Hooray! <laughs> yep, yep, those will all hit. <laughs> Snoke's starting off here well. Why can't you all be like him? <laughs> <laughs> and then I will uh, back up what the map tells me is one mile. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hush. Uh, how much is that? 21 is that kind of range 19. 85 total. Cool. So it's bloodied. Hooray! Um, and looks very unhappy about it. Bower. You're up. Sadoke just Not shot the shit much. out of this plant monster. How's it going? Yes, hopefully I'm going to whack the shit out of it. All right. Wait, how big is it? shit all over you. It is huge sized. Okay. I just can only reveal so much of this map at a time. Um, right now, I just wanted to check. I think that was pretty good. That's fair. Now get to How did you bed. roll? How did you roll zero fire damage? For some reason it's one d six minus one. Yeah, that's because of the like. I was having. I need to mess with that, but it was having issues showing up, and so it does. I did something to make it go, and then it. Yeah, I need to mess okay. with. It. So let's just count those as ones, if that's all right. Sure. That's fine. Uh, all three of those will hit. The third one will just barely connect. Um, so that is... He is, in fact, resistant to cold. So, three, two, one, six. Thank you. I forget, do we round up or down for damage? Because if it's up, it's 49. If it's down, it's 49. Down. Uh, down, yeah. Okay, 48 then. Alright, he's looking real bad. Um, but, uh, Bauer, you've ended off within 10 feet of this motherfucker. I need you to make a constitution save for me. As the overwhelmingly terrible smell oh. of this thing's flower hits you. Oh, yeah, no. you smell. <laughs> You're fine. You still have Bless on. Um, but you're fine. Okay, damn it. Christona. Fucking corpse flower. Um, okay. Well, um, I'm gonna cast your Laylee and I'm gonna whack it a couple times. Christona, <laughs> Flint, you're muted. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm going to, to cast your aliens, whack it a couple times. All right, seven will hit him, or 18 will hit him. So will a 21. Mm -hmm. So that's 15 damage to him. He is still up. Unbelievably, he will actually get to take an action. I'm amazed. Aww. Damn it. You fucked up. Sorry. <laughs> Damn, damn Halo of Spores taking a taking an action to activate. Oh no. Um, Alright. So he's going to look at the group of you in this tunnel arrayed before him. Um, <laughs> he's going to Yeah, he's going to uh, spray what looks like acid all over the group of you. He exhales an acidic mist. And I need everybody to make me a con save. Mm -hmm. 
Bauer, you do not succeed. Diggeroy, you do. Though you also still have Bless on. Yeah, I just got uh, that. 22. Yep. Sudoku fail. Um, Cristona, you just barely fail. Ugh. So. Uh, Damn corrupted my gem. Damn corrupted to gem. That, to that. What was that? Well, I think a 16 still fails. It does. So those of you who are not named Diggeroy take uh, 41 acid damage. Those of you who are named Diggeroy take 20. Those of you what who if are we named our names Sadok, to Diggeroy? <laughs> those of you who are named Sadok. Well, that's a whole... You're in Helgi Domer. There's a whole legal process for that. And, you know, it, it takes longer than a reaction. Too you fair, can't, I can't what if I pre-filled out the paperwork? You can't change your name as a reaction. <laughs> oh yeah, I also have that. Indeed. All right. So then that's just bat literally just Bauer who's hit with full damage. Everybody else takes 20. Hey. It's fine. And that is his turn. Yes. Yes. That's his turn. Which takes us back to Diggeroy. He's looking very bad. But he did just breathe acid all over the lot of you. How dare Acid, you say. Acid. Save that for next time we deal with the troll. <laughs> I'm looking if I have, like... Actually, this is a weird one. I don't have anything that really does fire damage. Except for green flame blade. Hmm. That's technically an option. He said he's looking very badly in a bad he way. He sure is. All right, sure. I shall dart up. Give him a stab. All righty. And That'll hit him. A... That will kill him. Ah, never mind. He had a 12 health left. Hi, <laughs> Steven Universe fired. Monster. Oh, yeah, I know the episode that came from. Nice. Cool. Uh, yeah. No, he's vulnerable. He's vulnerable to fire damage. So he screeches and uh, perishes. Mm-hmm. Okay, bye. Interesting. Death turnips. We're in the land of death turnips. Hmm. <laughs> it's not the name of this monster, but now I really want it to be. <laughs> yeah. Or just make death turnips. We cannot argue the validity of that. Just keep heading forward and try to avoid more of those. Yeah. All right. It's not like we want to stay here, so. One sec, I'm just finding a death turn. <laughs> uh. Is it just like the angry beat from... Oh shit, what was that? There was like a con that had like a beat as angry beat as a mascot. Alright. You guys continue onwards. The song of the Myconids grows steadily louder as you go. <clears throat> Make perception checks for me, please. You all spot several hundred feet away 
what look like the what look like the black branches of an enormous tree. And beneath it stands the uh, the rot golem you've been chasing. I need to cure wounds on myself if we're dealing with this. You can attempt to find somewhere to rest. Mm. Or I feel like most of us could benefit from a short rest. Yes. Yeah, let's let's try and do that then. All right, make me a survival check then. Find somewhere safe to rest. Boom. Eight. Come into my house. <laughs> that sure is a survival check. Um, sure is a survival check. <laughs> All right. So between Cristona and Digroy, you guys find a nice, safe little alcove that requires minimal burning out of the rot to uh, take a short rest in. Uh, um... I'll take it. Roll your hit dice, do your thing. Prepare for boss fight. <laughs> hmm. Or something. Or something. If it was a boss fight, there would be a bunch of pots around with fairies in them. Yeah. <laughs> or there would just immediately be Latin music. <laughs> no, unfortunately, I couldn't find a version of the hanging tree in Latin. Damn. Sitting, I was going with Spanish music. I'm like, wait, Latin music? What? <laughs> I don't know this trope. What's going on? <laughs> so sad. Alexa played Despacito. <laughs> <laughs> I have this image of a fucking mariachi band playing in the background now <laughs> while you can fight bosses. <laughs> I'm down for this. Thanks. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> find a find a ring of the grammarian that can create that. <laughs> find a spell that can do that for us. I mean, shit. You guys have an artificer on uh, the Vishrod. You yeah. can try and commission your own uh, conjure mariachi band magic object. Warforged mariachi band. Warforged mariachi band. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh. I just realized we could name them Zoon. <laughs> Insert Steve and uh, Colbert give and it to me now even... gif. And they wouldn't even know why that's so terrible. You can't do that to them. <laughs> That's like a war crime or something. <laughs> I'm not a lawyer, but I know that much. <clears throat> I mean, it's either the mariachi band or it's rock cappella. It's one of the two. One of the two. Oh, no. What dark forces have I unleashed? The fact that we didn't start with heavy metal does annoy me a little bit now. <laughs> it's fair. <laughs> I mean, I do have metal music that we can play instead of this. Uh, death metal is the so rock covered Warforged. <laughs> No, I just have that Graveyard of the Gods track. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Somewhere in here. What, do you not like Graveyard of the Gods? <laughs> oh, it was very, I don't know. Was it loud last? I feel like it got too loud for me last time. I had to turn it way down. 
if I'm thinking of the same thing. Anywho, I'm rested. This is fine. <clears throat> uh, okay. Well, roll 20's being a bitch. Thanks, roll 20. Damn it, roll 20. Why you gotta do this? You used to be cool. You're right. Mm -hmm. You said you could hang. <laughs> I'm saying this now. I'm going to shillelagh and I'm going to symbolic entity before, like right before we get there. So I have to deal with that shit. <laughs> All right. Alrighty. So, you short rest, you take an hour. The songs of uh, my comment slowly fade into the background. And then eventually they stop completely. Hmm. We do not know which is worse. Lord, it means they're finished with whatever they're doing, but. Hmm. Your short rest is over. Honestly. All right, let's go do this. <laughs> they spent. <clears throat> Mojo returned to the face up attack mode position. I don't know. What? I can't make re I can't make references with the kids anymore. Um, you done got old. <laughs> One of I us. One of us. I fucking turned. I fucking turned twenty four this uh, holiday season. <laughs> Man, right over the hill. You yeah, right, right at the cliff. Never have I felt more old. Hmm. All right. So. Quite literally. Yes. You come into, uh, you come over the last hump in the tunnel and emerge onto a field of rot. Uh. At the far end is an entirely black, enormous tree with what look like bodies hanging from its branches. Between you and there, you see multiple, uh, Multiple of the uh, flower monsters you just fought. A couple lizard-looking things that you don't recognize. Not immediately. And a uh, few familiar... Very spindly rot creatures. As well as some myconids. Against the four of us. <clears throat> this is fine. You guys are starting at the at the very bottom. Yep. Down here. Drop your tokens, please. Matula has gone too far. The rock golem at the very back, the big one, rumbles. So... You have come to the hanging tree. You should have told us. We would have cleared a spot for you. So what you're saying is you want us to go and come back later. No matter. Places can be made. Will you come to the hanging tree? 
wear necklaces of rope side by side with me. Join our chorus. Or must we force you? This is enough. Tell Atula this needs to end. Tell her yourself. She waits for you. Cashalaley, <laughs> symbiotic entity. <clears throat> Y'all got a round before he comes at you. All right. Um... Bless everybody. All Hooray. right. I'm going to refresh roll 20 real quick to see if that will let me play music again. Uh, what I got for my spells? Um, anybody else got anything they want to drop down before we get started? I'm going to inspire Crestona before we begin. Hooray. <clears throat> That's new. I refreshed roll 20 and ended up in a different roll 20 game. <laughs> yeah, that's how that works. When you have two open at the same time, and that was the latter one. Welcome to tokens. Or cookies, sorry. Mm-hmm. Uh. I'm going to wait a little bit. Well, could just drop a wall of fire here. Well. It's very tempting. Let's do this. Yeah, can get all of it, though. There's two you have here. until my clock hits 742 and 30 <clears throat> seconds. Which is in 45 seconds from now. Okay, fine. Uh, well, to declare if you would like to do something. Mm -hmm. When that happens, when we hit that mark, he is going to start... Uh, things are going to start happening. I can do. Okay. Then I'm actually going to do... I'll do Guardian of Nature Great Tree. Wait. Anybody else? Bueller. Potions. Nope. I'm good. All right. <clears throat> well, then. I would like you all to please roll initiative. Da da da. Ah, damn it. And we're off to a great start. <sighs> Oof. Well, here I was thinking I rolled poorly, but... <laughs> <laughs> wow, their highest initiative is a 10. Hooray! I mean, I, I'm pretty par for the course. So. This is fine. Oh, boy. All right. We got a three. We got a... Uh, oops. The mall barrels aren't on yet. A six, a ten, and a five. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <sighs> wow. It's that kind of a night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. All right. Well, that's cool. Um, we'll get to them when we get to them. <laughs> um, all right. 
Sudoku with a whopping 14 initiative. <laughs> you are up first. Great. Uh, I'm just going to shoot the closest one. Okay. This one? Yeah, the one on the right. All right. 20 will hit. 20. But the 10 will not hit. I will retry. All right. The 27 will hit. For 81. All right. Excellent. 81 damage. He is... Um, already bloodied. Yay. That'll be it for me. Cool. Uh, Christona, you are up. Okay. So, <clears throat> well, let's start with going up a bit. And I'm just gonna... Grab some stones out of my pouch and lob some magic stone. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Add At this, who? Add this one in front of me. Uh, 31 will definitely hit him. Ray. Don't have extra attack on that. I don't think so. I'm gonna. Nope. And uh, bonus action, I'm going to activate the spectral armor. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Oh, wait. Was magic stone. Is a bonus action. Shit. Oh, wait. Yeah. Damn it. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Cool, 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 cool. Which takes us to the big motherfuckers. We somehow rolled the best. Ooh, I forgot to roll initiative for uh, our two rusty. Oh, wow. Well, they're just going to go next round. That's fine. Everything is fine. They're going to arrange themselves. And that will be their turn. Power. You're up. Yeah. Shit. Don't break anything. Sorry. <laughs> You're just moving, Bauer, that's it? Well, yeah, because I, I can't, like, throw a spear and then pull out my shield before it, the end of the turn. No. Yeah, so, I'm good. All right. Well. Ah, our favorite boys are going to... Lad. So it's going to waddle over here. So it's going to waddle straight up to Christona. Christona, I... They're going to whip out two vines from, or the uh, one in front of you is going to whip out two vines from itself, and then it's going to try and. Mm hmm. Ow. Uh, Ow. First one doesn't hit. <laughs> That's not an attack. Oh. The plus one is, is not an attack. Okay. 
that's me rolling initiative for. Oh right. I forgot. <laughs> Shit, I forgot about that. Uh, well. Oh. Well, this should be fun. <laughs> uh, this is just uh, not my week, apparently. I need you to make a con save for the bite. Mm -hmm. That's 32 bludgeoning damage from the mines. Ouch. <laughs> Shit. Wow. Ooh, that's not great. Um, and then he's going to chomp down on you with his big planty teeth. Which really sounds like it. Which really sounds like a misnomer. Um, you're going to take. How do you feel about poison damage? Zero stars would not recommend. Yeah, would not. <laughs> yeah. What one, one uh, star? I'm not a monster. So between the uh, piercing and poison damage, you take an ex another 40. Oof. From uh, its bite. Oof. Oof. The other one is not in range to bite you, though, and there's not enough of you to breathe its acid on. So it will not. Fun. This one over here is going to try and attack Bauer. It's mad as hell because somebody shot it a bunch of times and it can't get to that. Wow, rolling well tonight. 23 hits you, Bauer? Yes. Okay. First two are tentacles. The third one is the bite. That'll... Uh, so that is 20, this is non-magical, so uh, 23 damage for you. And that is their turn. And this guy is going to scooch into the middle. He's going to start to run and pick up steam, but he only has so much speed this turn. His momentum is carrying him directly this way, though. Noted. <laughs> um, then it's the big guy in back. He's going to extend one hand and lay it flat upon the ground and the ground around that hand and the rot lying on the ground is going to begin to ripple i'm sure this is fine bigger eye it's your turn so it is all right one second Beautiful. Okay. Wall of Thorns. Cool, 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 cool. Where are you dropping this Wall of Thorns? Right through all those guys? Cool, cool, cool. Good news. They suck at deck saves. An actual thing. Huzzah! And crappy damage all too, but... Mm. Mm. Like I said, though... Anyway, they saying. all take 18 damage. Alrighty. They all look appropriately pissed about it taking 18 damage as a wall of thorns appears, sprouts from the ground beneath them, and stabs its thorny thorns into their flesh. Oh, there's that, and then also the ground within 15 feet of me is difficult terrain for enemies. Mm -hmm. On top of all that, yes. Yep. Yep. I'll just move to there, and then I'm going to use my bonus action to inspire... 
Bower. All right. Bower, you are inspired. Ooh. So inspiring. And that will be my turn. Cool, cool, cool. Alrighty. So these little, little lizardy fellows, one of them is going to hop on the uh, big guy as he passes. The other one is just going to scuttle uh, forward towards you all. Then, my reaction triggers. Shit. Oh, how unfortunate. Figaroy. Mm -hmm. A burst of rot erupts from the ground underneath your feet. Ah. Make a con saves. Make a con save. Well, you don't inhale any, but you do have some on your arm. Ew. The rot has stuck to you. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. It takes us to Sadook. Uh, I'm going to go for the one on the left. Oh. Uh, this one? It's going to miss. So, yeah, this one. 14 wall from this. Okay. Cool. Uh, 24 and the 17 will hit, however, so that is... 41. Uh, 41, dude. He is not bloodied, but he has two sharpened, sharpened sticks pointing out of him now. He looks very unhappy about it. He screeches as much as a plant can screech. Apparently plants sounds, can screech pretty well. <laughs> it sounds horrible. Um, Damn turnips. Um, then you move out of the uh, path. Yep. Cool. It's probably a wise idea. Probably. Uh, Christina. Yep. yep. Um, bonus action. I think I need to heal myself a bit. So... Let's do uh, do, 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 do. I think I'm gonna have to do another level because ouch. Oh well, not terrible. I'll take it. And then I'm gonna smack this thing a couple times. Alrighty. You can certainly try. Boom! Boom! <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Pissed off the druid! Well, that will certainly, those will both certainly hit. Hooray! <laughs> um, <laughs> well done. The one right in front of you? Uh, yep. Alrighty. 16, 30, 31, 45, 57, 60 damage. He is bloodied, and he does not look happy about it. Yeah. Um... He is dripping green plant nectar from him. Ew. <laughs> and black rot ichor. Yeah. back a bit <laughs> but digger is right there uh well at least mm, 
I'm going to at least... No, I'll just stay there, damn it. Okay. That's me. All righty. So, these guys are going to stay in their uh, position as so the Myconids continue to sing. Bower, you're up. I think I'm just going to try to hit it. Sorry? I think I'm just going to try to hit it. Get All righty. Get him. Get him. Those will both hit him. That will definitely hit him. Hooray. Um, All righty. So he is resistant to cold and vulnerable to fire. So that is 15, 20, 40, 53. Thank you very much. So this guy's down. He uh, gets stabbed a few times while uh, trying to make his way through the wall and dies impaled by a wall of plants as a plant himself. How cruel. <laughs> the irony. Alrighty. And then you're moving over? Yep. Cool, cool, cool. Alrighty. It is their turn. So, how can I maneuver you to fuck up as many of you guys as possible? Ah, you've already maneuvered three of yourselves to do exactly that thing. Um, all right. So the one in, right in front of Cristona that's stuck in the wall, um, is going to take a big inhale and then he's going to exhale a cloud of gas. And I need all three of Cristona, Diggeroy, and uh, Sadok to make a constitution save for me, please. Well, Christona succeeds. Fuck. Congratulations. Um, Diggeroy and Sadok. You begin to feel a little bit stiff. Oh, um, and you look down at yourselves and you're beginning to turn to stone. So you are now, both of you are now restrained. Hmm. This guy's going to come up and just try and hit Cristona and see how that goes. Nope. A last one. Last one. Hey, I need a con save from you. Mm -hmm. 25. That'll work. You don't take the extra poison damage, so that's only 18 on the uh, bite. Uh, and I realized I need to be moving. All right, and now they take wall of thorns damage. Okay. They do indeed. Do they, they don't get another save, do they? I don't think they'll make it, but. Mm 
I think they get another save. Griff. Well, actually, there isn't a third one. So they both take full wall of thorns. And they both look very unhappy about it. Alrighty. Which takes us to Big Red. He is going to charge right fucking through the Wall of Thorns. When he hits that, it's difficult terrain. On top of the costume. Yep. On top of the thing. Right yep. There, so. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> He took his last turn building up momentum. He has uh, the good 45 news. feet of movement to do that, and he also has to do, do a wall thorn save. Yep. Oh, wow. So he fails. The monster that is riding on him, though he is seriously injured regardless by the trip through the Wall of Thorns. Beautiful. <laughs> um, Weirdest monster truck. He is just now here. Alrighty. I can tell somebody's measuring distance. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. All right. Why would we do something like that? Yeah. I don't know. That's a very good question. So, where uh, he had his hand stuck to the ground last uh, turn, the golem at the back is going to lift it up and in his hand is a giant clump of rot. Ew. Yes, ew is the uh, optimal word. So he is going to huck it right here. So I need everybody within 10 feet of that, which amounts to just Bower, to make a deck save for me. Bower, you do have half cover from this. A 13 will not save you. Uh, let's try... Go for it. You should have blessed as well. Yes, you should have blessed. Ah. Uh, you are just barely short. That should get there we go. Hey. That gets it. All right. Whoops, there should be a plus on that. Uh, so that is 36. Um, so, Digger, so Bauer, you did save. So you take 18 poison damage and are not covered in rot. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, I worked really hard for that one. Would the Shield Master reaction apply? No, because it's not targeting just me. No, the uh, the half damage thing, the half to zero doesn't care about single target. Oh, that's right. Uh, would you like to use your reaction? Yes, yes I would. Alrighty. You take, I keep uh, forgetting about damage. that aspect. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah. Shieldmaster is a good feat. Mm -hmm. It's a really good feat. 
So the rust monster that was riding on uh, his shoulder is dead. Because it had 8 health left. This guy seems to... The big rusty guy seems to lose what scratches he had as the uh, ball of rot explodes on him. Mm. And the uh, one that's stuck in the wall of thorns, this guy, uh, loses some of these scratches that were on him as well. Shit. Hmm. And that's his turn. Digoroy. Yeah, hmm. Hmm. Okay. Where are you throwing that? So these two turnips and the rust monster. This guy in back. Yep. Alrighty. Wow, one of them actually saves. This guy dies instantly. Uh <laughs> Okay, I'm going to move his body. I'm going to move their bodies off to the side. Uh, this one will save. So he'll only take eight. This guy will take full damage. He's looking pretty rough. And is that all you would like to do? Or is there something else? I have a bonus action. Um, I'm going to use a, a, an action to... Let's see. Which one do I want to use here? Hmm. No, I'm just going to inspire, um, Christona. I'm already, no, wait, I'm still inspired. Inspired. I'm still inspired. Yeah, so Bower again. Alrighty. Bower, you're inspired. Something about how He's... Diggeroy threw that time bomb is super fucking inspired. <laughs> Alright, you just got to take out that one thing. That's all we need. <laughs> the one thing. <laughs> the one thing you mean everything. Got it. You have one job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the one big thing right here. Alrighty. So that takes us to the lair. Meeny, meeny, money, mo. Roll the d4. Don't be a dick. Uh, Bauer, make me a con save, please, as rot erupts beneath your feet. Well, you don't inhale any, but you do have rot on you now. You would like to spend your inspiration? Go for it. <coughs> That'll do it. Hey. Yeah, I keep All forgetting right. I don't have that actually set to automatically roll for me. Hmm. Alrighty. Sadok. There's a big rusty fellow and uh Yep. Is there uh anything I can do about this restrained condition? You can make a con save. Oh. Reminds me, should I have a not, do you? Oh yes, you should have. Okay. 
Figueroa, you are freed. Stoke, you are one step closer to turning to stone. Lovely. Do I have anything for <laughs> Just what I always wanted. <laughs> I do not know stone to flesh or dispel magic for that matter, so. I have dispel magic! <laughs> Don't die. I mean, I guess I could shoot myself to dispel it with my crossbow. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> just, Take an arrow ahead. to the knee to stop becoming a shoot statue. the closest turnip. You know, <laughs> that's technically something you could do. <laughs> I hate that I find that so funny. <laughs> Fuck. I like that I still hit 32s with disadvantage. Yeah, holy yeah. shit. <laughs> you rolled two 19s. <laughs> All right, that is a solid 31 damage. Oh, and he is down. Turn it number two falls. Now all that's left is turnip number one. Anyway, that'll be it for me. All righty. That takes us to Cristona. Yeah. Um, so with Sadok turning into stone, uh, <laughs> Digger Roy, Not stone yet. It's can fine. you help with this while I we got it? And I'm gonna dispel magic on <laughs> Sadok. Alrighty. Um, ba -ba -dum -ba -dum. make a uh, dispel magic. What spell level are you using? Um, just the normal. Okay, make a check for it. Do I have advantage because of wisdom? It's a wisdom check, technically. Uh, Guardian of Nature gives yeah. advantage for wisdom checks in Great Tree, right? So yes. Yeah. Yes, right. you do. It is a wisdom check. Boom! Nice. Cool. Sadok, you're no longer restrained, and you are no longer turning to stone, as Cristona turns around and uh, throws a dispel magic at you. You feel the flakes of stone that were creeping up your body just fall off all at once. And then... Bonus action. Um... Gonna do a second level healing word, because I really need it. Cool. Uh, you're not a spell driver in this game. Oh shit! No, I'm not. Never mind. Forgot about that. Um, so I'm just gonna activate the spectral armor then. Cool. These guys are slowly and in exact unison going to step forward. Only stopping when one of their number is about to fall into a hole. <laughs> See, like a variant of the, the movie Team Walk, where they're all walking up and <laughs> vaguely and stuff, and they all kind of stop, and one of them's looking at the hole like, fuck, what do we do now? <laughs> I don't know what movie you're talking about, but yeah, I'll <laughs> Plenty of exactly movies have that. this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of movies I've seen, though, the person just falls in, everybody's like, fucking <laughs> Steve. How did we not see that? It's always fucking Steve. All right, Bauer, you're up. You got I guess one. I will do the one thing. One, uh, one turnip and one very rusty boy ahead of you. Yeah, and he's also, like, large or giant or whatever, too. Huge. Yeah. All right, I'll just smack him. Oh, 
All right, all three of those will hit. <laughs> 12, 16, 17, thank you very much. I got real good at tanking. He takes uh, 57 damage, and he does not spray uh, rust and rot all over you as you attack him. The fire manages to burn off the uh, rot closest to you on him, so he can't spray it at you. Let's also throw that on there. He makes his safe. Dick. He's unexpectedly wise. That's me. Fucking shit. Alright. This leaves us with one final boy. Or turniping. Fair. Alright. Hmm. I wonder if he... He does! <laughs> Yeah, this sounds unfun. Mm. Well, he just recharged his breath weapon. Shit! Uh. What's up, guys? Uh, oh, fucking hell. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is making up for all the fucking manglers from last... Uh. Uh, bum 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 Nah, his buddy's there. He can't breath weapon you guys without hitting him. And he's not immune to petrification. <laughs> or to his other breath weapon damage types. So he's just gonna try and nom Cristona. Disadvantage. He does. What the fuck? Well, good news. Mm -hmm. You were saved from a crit by the disadvantage. He will still hit you with one of his vines. Yeah. Down! <laughs> I got you. Okay. Aw, I'll miss you, Great uh, Tree. Rip. He will bite you after you're down as well. Mm-hmm. That is... And Soviet Russia trying will... to bite you! Yes. Um, Diggeroy, I need some... Uh, so, chalk up uh, two failed saves for yourself. Diggeroy, I need some Wall of Thorns damage. Mm -hmm. Uno momento. He will fail his save against Wall of Thorns. And barely remains standing as the wall of thorns keeps fucking him up. <laughs> Dag nabbit. Um, which takes us to our boy, the rust monster. Or the rust giant. What did we call him? The meat grinder. Yes. The spiky boy. There's a lot of spiky boys. You have to be more specific with these ones. I'm just realizing I should have left these guys' corpses where they were. So I'm just going to move them back real quick. Uh, so those are for Bauer, because Bauer is the one who stabbed him a bunch of times. 22 doesn't he? 22 would, but um, he he's a disadvantage. Oh, wait, no, he's not, because he's made a save. Yeah, Never mind. Mm. Uh, so, yeah, I think all those will hit. Um, so that is with your East Stillmon magical attacking. Um, so that's 26 damage, and then... 
some 36 damage on you. Minus Total three. Or, or is that no. 68 two minus... Attacks are, first two attacks are 32. His crit is 36. And so the crit's the only one non-magical? No, they're all non-magical. Okay, so then... I don't know why I rolled them all separately. Maybe I'm just a dumbass. Um, but it's three distinct attacks. Right, so that's 68 yes. minus 9. Yeah. 59. Minus 6 more. All right. All right, and that is his turn. He cannot spray rot all over at you because you did hit him with fire damage. I just noticed this is rivers in the desert. <laughs> it like, took me a second. I switched it. <laughs> it's no longer Graveyard of the Gods. <laughs> um, Alrighty. This boy in back is going to uh, stick his hand to the ground again and start drawing rot to himself. I don't like him. I don't think any of you like him. Can confirm. Double time. Diggeroy, you're up. I will step here, but I'm going to cast. For Cristona. Ooh, nice. Cristona, you are back up with 45 hit points. Thank you, Digger Right. Would you like to do anything else, Digger Eye? Um, not at this time. Alrighty. Meeny, meeny, miny, mo. Sadok. Yep. <laughs> Rod erupts from the ground underneath your feet. Make me a con save, please. Oof. Oof. Fucking hell. Roll 20. Stop opening the downloads page when I try to... So, Sudoku, you take a solid 14 points of uh, poison damage, and the rod covers you. for concentration. Hey. <laughs> if only I could have gotten them reversed. Um, if only. Then you wouldn't have needed to make the concentration one. Um, that's uh, the layer, actually. Sadok, it is your turn. Well... I'm going to go ahead and shoot the turnip. Alrighty. Well, that'll hit. Still up? No. No, it is not. Hooray! <laughs> He's dead. I'll send the next two bolts into uh, Spiky Boy. Alrighty. Spiky Boy. Spiky Boy. Uh, I'm assuming the 13 misses. The 13 does miss. The 19 will get... Oh, he takes a 21 as well. Okay. He 
He's uh, not looking super great. He sends out a couple of little puffs of rot towards you as well. But it uh, looks like he can't quite... Uh, it looks like they don't quite reach you. What with you attacking from range and all. And as versatile as the rod is, rocket propellant is not in its repertoire. I mean, we can fix that. Right, got it. Give all the rocket propellant to the rod. <laughs> <laughs> Here. <laughs> um. Oh no. I feel like you're you're really saying you're saying oh no, but you really mean oh yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> but at the same time it's like, oh god, what did I just propose they do? Um <laughs> Kristana, you're prone, but you have 45 hit points. Pray. I'm going to stand up. And then... Hmm. How is this spiky boy looking? He's not quite leaking yet. Here's a question. Do I think that if I used the fifth level slot to remove a bunch of rot from it, it would fuck it up. <laughs> hmm. That is a very good question. I'm going to go with yes. Okay. Then, yeah. Uh... Guys, what are fifth level damage spell? I don't know Spirit any of the damage right spells. Is... Uh, most do like five or ten, or excuse me, eight or ten d whatever. Synaptic static is eighty six. Yeah. Steel and strike is sixty ten to each target. Right. Fireball really should have been a fifth level spell by damage. Yeah. Uh, give me 8d6. Ah. Yeah, d6. No added effects on it, but... Oof. Cool. And I guess I'm going to activate my spectral armor as my bonus action. Alright, so you spend your uh, slot to remove a bunch of rot. It uh, seems very hurt by this, without the opportunity for a save. And uh, there's a lot less rot clustering around the areas that are within reach of you and uh, you and the rest of the party. Hooray. Okay, if you try and hit it, you don't have to worry about hitting it with fire damage to not get rot sprayed all. Hooray. I'm going to go over here to be hopefully a better target than Diggeroy. Cool. Alrighty. The very tall boys are going to walk forward a little bit more. They do not do so in perfect lockstep because one of them has to walk around the hole. Mm. They don't do facial expressions most of the time, but you get the sense that uh, this one looks a little bit annoyed at that. <laughs> uh, Bauer, I you are that up. choreography for months. Oh, put the turn up the on. There's just this chargey boy left. The meat grind. Yep. I'm going to start with uh, one of those. Respectable. Uh, 
All right, you regain 29 hit points as you down a uh, superior healing potion. What else would you like to do? Then I will just proceed to smack him. All right, the 15 will miss. The others, the other two will. It is 9, 14, 17. Thank you very much. He's looking real bad. He's looking real bad. Just throw that on there anyways. All right. Hey. He will not make that one. He's looking even worse, but he is still standing. And that's also another eight damage. Right. Yep. I got you. Don't worry. Just checking. All right. Turnips are not going. He is, though. So, he's got all these targets around him. He's going to spread the love. Each of you is going to get... That's for Bauer. That's for Dickeroy. And that's for Cristano. That's for I feel the love. Hey. The thought that counts. Well, love's been spread. Who's the 21 on? Bauer. Well, the 11 and the 21, right? Mm -hmm. No, the 11 is his wisdom save. Oh, okay. Well, then he needs another one for that 21. Well, I guess it doesn't matter because he missed, so never mind. Yeah. Um, Technically, okay. he sucks more than that, but it doesn't really matter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he's like, a disadvantage on me. <laughs> Point taken. He has disadvantage on all of you. Yes. Um, all right. Your neighborhood friendly rock golem hiding at the back. Going to pull out another giant clump of rot. He's going to huck it right here. So I need deck saves from. Diggeroy and Cristona and Bauer. Bauer and all of you have half cover, actually. Cristona, 14 will not save I'm you. I'm going to uh, use my Bardic Inspiration. Okay. Diggeroy, you're fine. Shit. 17 will get you. Or, sorry, 19, 19 for her. You need to go. Bauer, I need one from you, too. 19 will save you. Hooray! Good news. You all only take 17 points of... Uh... Ring of Evasion! Okay. Get wrecked! <laughs> the uh, big rot mo the uh, meat grinder, is uh, healed up a little bit. And this guy comes back. Oh, fuck. As the rot from the boulder falls all over him. And he suddenly stands back up with renewed purpose. And with rot pulsing all over him. Surprise. Shit. Oh, digger, I get back. I get back. Ah. <sighs> All right. I shall stab the guy who just got back up. All right. Stab the turnip. Look at the shape of this. I hit. If I took a step 
here. That would provoke from one or two of them. Um... It would provoke from neither of them, actually. Hmm? Ah, they both have reach? They do. Ah. Excellent. Because that allows me to get this right where I want it. Woo! Nice. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Yes! They both fail. Alright. They're both looking about like almost where they were before the rot bomb came in. Um, Except the one's not dead. Yeah. But he is in the middle of that thing and I don't think he has the movement to get out of the wall. He does not. Because you would need like 50 feet of movement to do that. <laughs> Correct. He does not. He'll die at the end of his turn. Uh, lair action time. Uh, shit, I really need to renumber you guys and figure out who's who. But I'm pretty sure two was Diggeroy. Hey, Diggeroy. I was number two. I have to make another save. All right. Hey. Make me a deck save, please. Okay. Cool. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. So, grasping tendrils of rot emerge from the ground and attempt to drag you underneath with them. You manage to dodge out of the way of them, however, and they retreat back into the ground. I dance a little jig out of the way. All right. You sure do. It's a very fine jig. I remember rings of evasion don't work like actual evasion. Rip. No, they do not. Bye. Alrighty. So, Digger really avoided being dragged to a horrible fate. So, Doak, what would you like to do? Uh, go for Spiky Boy. Alrighty. Uh, the first one will uh, drop him. Alright. As That's you find some, something uh, crucial. Pray. The other ones did the turn up then? Yep. That'll kill him. He had three health left after being healed. Oh, well then. Can I hit the far guys? Yeah. Send the uh, last one to the guy on the left. The one who had to walk around the hole and looked very peeved? Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, insult to injury. Or injury to insult, I guess. Literally. Yeah, that'll hit an 18. Cool. You get a bolt stuck into him. And that'll be it for me. Alrighty. Christona. Okay. All of the enemies immediately in your face are dead. Alright. Um. Well. Let's see. Yeah, this is fine. I'd like to put a wall of fire right across there. <laughs> Where? Um. Draw it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Draw it. Cool. cool. Actually, get... Yeah, it's within 10 feet, right? So... Where are you? That sounds right. I am googling frantically. Uh, each creature within the area of the wall has to make a deck save when it appears. Uh, so, 
they are not within the area. The 10 feet is if they end their turn within 10 feet of one side of the wall. Oh, then I want to put it on them. <laughs> oh, well. There. Sure. We'll chalk that up to a flint mistake and not a Cristona one. Yeah, um, no. I'm the idiot. Krista is not an idiot about spells. Alrighty. Only one of them saves. How much damage do the rest of them take? Roll me that 5d8. Ouch. All right, they are all burned. As the wall of fire emerges and roars across the tunnel. <sighs> well, and then I'm gonna... Let's see, go... I guess start making my way this way. And I'm going to activate the spectral armor. Alrighty. Alright, alright, alright. It is now their turn. They are going to proceed 10 steps forward, or 10 feet forward, out of the wall. I don't like that Sudoku is the one measuring things. <laughs> I'm concerned about what his devious little brain is cooking up. Don't worry about it, it's fine. <laughs> I'm sure it is. Hey, Bauer. There's a so, wall of thorns ahead of you. Yep. Oh, right, that was there. Shit. Uh... Oh, right, wall of thorns blocks line of sight, doesn't Do I have... Does it? Oh, shit. Yeah, Walthorns is still there. Shit. Um, I'm not sure how much longer I can have it up. Ten minutes. Oh, uh, never mind. Yeah, basically. Oh. Well, oh, shit. Uh, oh, Alright, when I decide to concentrate on something else, then is when it comes down. I started there, so I couldn't have been able to, like, go I think you there. can just drop concentration at will. You can. Yeah, pretty much. It's not an action or anything. And that'll be my turn. I kind of want to leave it there because that prevents them from kind of writing out and dealing with us that way. Yeah, that's fair. That's all I could do then. Alright, so Cristona's there, Bauer second wins, and then heads around the wall. Marlboros are dead. As is this boy. Alright, now that you guys have started coming out from behind the wall... Meeny, meeny, miny, mo. Roll a d2. Don't be a douche. Hey, Bauer. What's up? 
kind of just standing here next to this big ass ball of thorns. <laughs> Oof. That is unfortunate. He rolled a three. Truly unfortunate. So sad. Prep the uh Zoom rock golem. Oh my god. <laughs> the rock golem <laughs> picks up an enormous uh boulder and hucks it at you. Unfortunately for him, he misses. Three. He then moves forward. Figaroy. Yeah. He then moves forward, makes us wait and anticipate. Right. Then looks at Diggory and makes us wait more. No, it's an anticip. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's a horribly stupid joke. I love it. <laughs> um, I'm going to take the. Ah, uh, no. Never mind. Patient. <laughs> Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Sorry, I'm not going to move there. I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to use Green Flame Blade to stab this corpse. Actually, no, gr not this Green one? Flame Blade. I'm just going to stab it twice. This one? Yeah. All right. Those will both hit it. And remove it. All right. <laughs> Before our friend over there gets any clever ideas. Actually, hold up. Before you do that. <laughs> nah, that's good. Alright. Damn it, I just <laughs> frantically cycled the initiative around for you. <laughs> Maybe if I wanted to use a flourish, but no. <laughs> you fool! Uh, I think it's Bauer who's number four. Bauer, please make me a sure. constitution save as the rot tries to spray itself on you again. You're fine. I do not approve of this spraying. No rot, don't know, Yamate. <laughs> uh, rot on each end, Yamate Kurosai. All right, Sadok. We come back around to you. Alright. I will uh, take a few steps to the side so I'm not behind the wall. And I'm going to shoot the one on the left again. Cool, cool, cool. The, the 50 miss. will miss. Alrighty. Excellent. That is 59 damage. Uh, I believe so. Yes, I'm going to move yes, back behind the wall again. Cool, cool, cool. He is bleeding heavily after that series of shots, leaking rot and uh, spreading it out into a pool on the ground around him. Y'all can see that, right? That should be a smaller aura. Yep. Cool. Unfortunately. Fun. Hehe. <laughs> Alright. And that's your turn? Yep, that's it. Alright, Kristana. Alright. Gonna try a thing. So... Gonna run around over to here. I think I can get a little... maybe over here. They're all in a line in front of you. They are indeed. So uh, they're gonna get sunbeamed. 
Ooh. Uh, what has disadvantage on Sunbeam? Undead Noozes? I Something does. So yes. Yep. Undead and Oozes. Cool. So these guys are neither of those. Sigh. Um, con save, DC 17. Uh... One of them makes it. Well, I guess this guy didn't really need to make one. He has five health left. Uh... Sigh. So do that, and then activate the perspective right. again. So, as you sunbeam the group of them, this one that's... Uh leaking a pool of rot from himself, explodes Ugh. upon dying. Shit. And the pool of rot gets bigger. Uh. Ew. Uh. There is now a ten foot in a, there's now a ten foot radius puddle of wet dripping rot. Around his corpse. Tula, why? And now it's Tula, their no. turn. Tula, stop. And so what's things exploding this week, too? What exploded? <laughs> yes, what exploded? Oh, no, who exploded? <laughs> <laughs> Stop being so mad about it, Flynn. <laughs> you murdered me! I'm allowed to be mad! I did not murder you. The dice murdered you. Totally did. I made my save, damn it. <laughs> yeah. Flint is salty because I killed one of her characters in another game with a psychic scream and blew up the character's head. <laughs> Ouch. Ha! Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> because that's what psychic. Because that's actually the effect of psychic scream is if you it reduces yep. character to zero. Their head, head explodes. I got better. Uh, <laughs> I guess there's no speaking to dead with that. Nope. <laughs> Not unless speak with dead counts for uh, or counts well, how bloody much tongues. Of the skull do you need? David says <laughs> I'm his first mouth. murder, but I don't believe that. <laughs> you need a mouth. Speak with dead specifies you need a mouth. There was no mouth. Uh, Bower 23 hits you, yeah? Yeah. Cool. So you take 17 damage. As one of them swings at you with his greatsword. Um, they only get one attack each, however, because they slow as fuck. And that is their turn. As one of them approaches... And regains 11 hit points as he does. From stand, oops, from standing in the rot puddle. Is That's, that rot puddle basically the size of the body of the dead turn? That rot puddle is that black aura that's around his oh, body. Oh, hey, yes. which one didn't say, or which one? Wait, which ones didn't save from the sunbeam? This one didn't save. Blinded. He missed. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. The other one. uh... Or, well, this one's saved, but he missed. The other one, right. Yeah, both of those are blinded, I guess. <laughs> no, what was, uh, this one saved. Oh, okay. This one didn't. Yeah, what about so this one? So he rolls one? a 26 on his disadvantage. He's not attacking you. Okay. Right, if he knows he's where he's there. walking. <laughs> he's just there recovering health in the pool. He's trying to get to you, but he can't do that yet. Okay. Uh, oh, whoops. Bauer, it is your turn. 
All right, so I'm going to do a thing where I, I push this guy. You're going to try and push him over? Yes, because I haven't gotten to do that all day. It was a thought that counts. I'm a little sorry. Sorry, not sorry. I'm a little right. sorry. Well, um, I will proceed to just hit him then. All right, just hit him. I mean, all three of those will hit. Total them up for me? Yeah. Okay. So he is looking very bad as well and is starting to leap. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and action surge and all right. Go for it. That'll hit. Uh the sixteen will miss despite your maxed out damage on all of your attacks for it. Twenty one will hit though. Uh your first attack will kill this one. Okay, so then can I put that third attack towards the other guy? You certainly can. Thank you, sir. All right. Ah, uh, Flint, your wall fire disappears, I believe. Yes? Ah, oh, yes. Cool. And that's Bower's turn. Meat grinders down. Big boy is gonna step over the rocks and start coming towards you all again. He's actually going to pick up the rock that uh, walked behind him or that was behind him, and he's going to huck it at. He's gonna huck it at Cristona. Disadvantage. Misses. There's now a map, a rock behind you instead of behind him. Mm -hmm. All righty. Dickeroy. How is Bauer working health wise? 40%. gonna suck when you level up and you can't just succinctly relay your health like that. I can, I'll get it close. I mean, I only can be off by probably It's the only health that. bar I can't see, so... Oh, really? Oh, yeah, I can't see his either. Or I can't see anybody's except mine. I'm Definitely just... dropping uh, wall of thorns. Oh, I can see some okay. I can't see Diggeroy's. I can see everyone else's. The hell? <laughs> you can't see Diggeroy's or Bowers, but. Can everybody see Bowers now? Yep. I can see Bowers yep. now. Okay. A fucking. It's a tiny difference, but I, I think Cristona needs the help a little bit more. Probably. These guys don't hit that hard when I. I'm thinking the big guy there is going to be the one that makes. You know what? This is only going to work one way anyway. Uh -huh. Come over here, and then I will cast this on the guy next to Bauer. Ooh. 
Ooh. Okay. Interesting. He fails. Yay! So seven damage, and he has to run away from me. And it's just his full speed. All right. So he's going to run. I guess or here. Is he? <laughs> and then I guess here. Because the wall of the tunnel is right there. He can't run any further that way. All right. I don't remember if I get a reaction on that one. Or an you opportunity. do get to take the tax of opportunity on Destiny okay. That's what makes it a cool spell. It does. Yes. It's a very cool spell. I dig it. All right. So... He is Lincoln. They're too far apart for steel wind strike, and I know want to steal and strike one of them. Right. Fair enough. Alrighty. So you turn digger right? Yes. Alrighty. Now that the uh, rock golem is getting closer, you can see that he's almost emanating rot around himself. Fun. It is saturating the air around him. Diggeroy, the dice have not been kind to you. <laughs> Roll me another dex save as the rod attempts to drag you underground again. An 18 will just barely save you. <laughs> Oof. You just barely manage to dive out of the way as it attempts to uh, pull you under. You guys have been rolling pretty good on your saves against his lyre action. Sadok, what would you like to do? Um, I'm going to shoot the big guy. All right. 16 will miss. The 29 and the 27 will, mi will hit, though. The 12 will also miss. Yep. Well, 39 so that is 39 him. damage to him. All right. And His eyes go down range and they lock in on you. And he raises a single enormous hand and points towards you as if sighting in. This is fine. Christona! All right. So. I guess who is nice enough to get close enough to me. So going to run over here and sunbeam up through through this lot. So he makes his sunbeam save. So does he. Right. Uh... Roll your damage. Oof. Ouch. Is that all you got? Um, spectral armor. Alrighty. So, this boy's gonna come try and hit you. Nope. He will suck. Yay! Um, this boy is going to slowly mosey on into the puddle. Ugh. 
and he will regain 11 health as he does. And then he's going to take a swing at back. And a 29 will hit. Yes, barely. Um, so that is 12 damage for Bower from this boy. Is that magical or non? Non magical. Yeah. And that is their turn. Power, you're up. You just drop one of those. Drop one of what? Oh, God damn it. There's a potion of supreme heal healing for 50. Okay, why can't I see it? Unless you'd prefer me to re-roll it. No, that's fine. I'm just confused as to why I can't see it. Because I have it set to myself while I was trying to figure out my damage. Ah, gotcha. But I linked it in Discord. Yeah, I got you. Don't worry. Okay. All right. You take your Supreme Healing Potion, regain 51 health. It's a good bowl. And, uh... What now? Then I will swing at the guy. Okay, well, your 12 will miss. The 25 and the 27 will hit, however. 15, 20... 35, 37. Right. Okay. He is barely holding on, but still there. Well, he's frightened of you and barely hold. Good combination. <laughs> yeah, it's not not terrible. Yeah, you're, you're not wrong. It is not terrible. That's it. He's still dead. This boy is going to start walking down. Mm -hmm. And I think he's finally in range. God fucking damn it. Hmm? <laughs> he is five feet out of range to start doing his interesting stuff. In the meantime, he's going to pick up another boulder and throw it at Sudok. Well, that's not nice. You shot him. So? So that's a 26 I... to hit. Ow. For 45 damage. Ow. Uh. Ow. Goddess sucks and smells funny. Well, that was half my health. <laughs> she is your goddess too not anymore uh, 
All right. Yeah, this guy's within reach. That's good, at least. He's going to pick up this guy's corpse and eat it. Yay! <laughs> 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 he was really out of date. <laughs> it's a very lean body. <laughs> I hate everything. <laughs> and he regains three hit points. Oh, music to my soul. As rivers in the desert triumphant. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> this is action, bonus action, and movement. <sighs> hey, Tigroy. What do you want to do? Put um... me out of my misery. Bauer seems to have that situation under control, so... Yes, I should be good. We'll run that far. On that guy. On this one next to Cristona? Yep. Okay. He will fail. Or damage and run away. He runs away. My, I guess I can shillelagh him. Yeah, you sure fun. can. Uh, da, 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 da. Where did you go? Do I still have this even? I don't know. Ugh. Oof. Oof. You miss. Sigh. Aw, and he went out of... Ah, oh, I was going to sunbeam them both again. <laughs> Alas. Big Roy. Can Roy. you hear it? The world's tiniest violin <laughs> that I've played. <laughs> is it golden? It sure fucking is. That's why you can't hear it, because golden instruments can't play for shit. Truth. Playing the world's uh, crappiest violin. Yeah, but it sure is expensive. <sighs> ah, yes. Bauer, please roll me a con save. This is back and forth between Diggory and Bauer. Yeah, it really doesn't seem to want to... I think I'm going to use my um, inspiration on... Okay. <laughs> <Go ahead. laughs> It did not work. Best use. It did not work. Mm. Bauer, you do not inhale rot, but you are covered in it. Do not like. Nobody likes it. Nope. Oh, three of you are covered in rot now. I like this. This is a good thing. Uh, Sadok. Uh... Spells. Continue. Sadok, it's your turn. Uh, go ahead and shoot the big guy some more. Alright. Solid decision. That'll hit. That'll hit. That'll hit. Sixty-three, I believe. Uh looks like it. Alrighty. And that'll be it. So, he is finally within 30 feet of one of you fuckers. Shit. Finally. Oh, shit. Shit! <laughs> <You're on. laughs> make a deck save. As he spends a legendary action. Alright. 
the rod attempts to grab you again. It continues to fail because you're very good at deck saves. Mm -hmm. Um, which takes us to Cristona's turn. Yup. So it can make another. Uh... Con save. Yep. Sunbeam. Mm -hmm. He <laughs> makes it. Your sunbeam flares out. Pew! Pew! And, and splashes against him, but it does not blind him. Oops, spectral armor, that's my turn. Sigh. I have very little action economy. <laughs> All I heard was something about the action economy. I have very that I assume was... that's my turn. <laughs> this guy's going to move here. The other one is going to attempt. 21 will not hit Bauer, even if he weren't frightened, which would give him disadvantage. Um, bum, 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 bum. so he misses. That's them. Power, it is your turn. Well, let's be creative here and go with the attempt to push him, and then we'll swing at him. All right. Yay. He Yay. will be pushed over. Swing at him. Like the will you hit him? Or will you not? There, you hit him. He had three health left. Hey, bye. He explodes in, <laughs> he explodes in your... Oh. Um, it's fine. I'm already covered. Uh... I'll make another con save. There are multiple stages of this. Yay! Cool, 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 cool. Bauer, you are covered in extra rot. You can almost feel it pulsing on you. Okay, so I only hit him once, right? You did. I'm going to go right there and swing two more times. Alright, so those will both hit. Mega Cons, you're Sorry. Yes. That's okay. Um, all right, those are an advantage. Roll me another attack. This probably won't kill you. Okay, the 17 will not hit. So that's 21 damage to him. Make me a con save as you enter. Well, it's probably about time that I just show it to you guys. Make a con save as you enter 20 feet of him. Uh, with disadvantage, because you have two layers of rot on you. Uh, hey! You still make it. This is fine. So take nine poison damage as you enter his uh, range. And the rot attempts to settle on you, but can't quite find purchase. Is that your turn? I feel like I should probably throw that on there, even though it won't go well, but it's... He will make his save. I think he's actually immune to... Oh, no, he's not. I should really make thing, more things immune to fear. I feel like you should. <laughs> I disagree. Don't want to throw around immunity too much. That just shuts down cool abilities. Yes. Um, on the other hand, it is weird that Bauer can keep making people so afraid by hitting them with his sword. 
I mean, but if you're going to be scared of something... sword is kind of scary. You'd be scared yeah. of that fucking sword. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, an icy oh, hot sword fair. on top of that? Yeah. Well, they're scared yeah. because they've run into a bower before and killed it. Yeah. It keeps coming back. <laughs> Wait a minute. Perhaps. <laughs> Why won't you stay dead? I've killed you like five times. <laughs> I'm too dumb to... <laughs> it's true. Hey, get All back. Right. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Hi. Why, hello. All right. So as an action, it's going to uh, start making attack. It's this two for Bauer. One for Diggeroy. So one for me? Or two? It's one for you. Okay. I see three. There's a twenty-six four. for you and a twenty-six and a sixteen for Bauer. Ah. Uh, I'm I'm wondering what that twenty one was. Yeah. Uh the twenty one was his wisdom save against menacing. Ah. Oh. Oh yeah. Okay. So that uh, is yeah, the twenty thirty for Bauer. Does hit. And 23 for Diggeroy. As a bonus action, Diggeroy, he's going to reach over your head. Oh, and damn it. Fucking hell. Grab the turnip and throw its corpse down his uh, gullet. Fucking hell. Okay. Come on, three. Three, 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 three. Well, the turnips are a bit more meaty. Four, 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 four. <laughs> <laughs> he picks up 18 health from that. Hey, Diggeroy, you're right next to him. You're starting your turn in his aura. Make a con save. Yay! Hey! Woo! Woohoo! Nope. Alright, take 8 poison damage. And you do not gain another stack of rot. There's a legendary action at the end of your turn. Hey, Bauer. What's up? Make me a dex save as the rot appears and attempts to drag you underground. Uh, ouch. Bauer, you are dragged underground by the rot. Um, you are pulled along by it to where you are not totally sure. But you go down and then up. And all around. Shit. You're considered restrained and blinded. Shit. Oh, that's not good. Bauer, make me another con save. Damn it! <laughs> Do I get a turn or no? Uh, did I? Oh, did I skip you? You did. You went right to layer actions. Mm -hmm. My right bad. To the end of my turn, actually. I am sorry. Bauer, we're just going to move you back there because I totally skipped Diggeroy. Okay. Um, like a dick. All right, Diggeroy, it is your turn. Just all over his face. Just all over his face? All right. Does not stick to him, unfortunately. Mm. Okay. I will then move. 
Okay. Over here. Okay. Okay. All right, all right, all right. So he hits that. And Degroy's turn. Degroy, are you bonus actioning anything? Um, yes, actually. I will drink a potion. Okay. Uh, greater healing, which is what, 44? Yes, 44 plus 4. All right, you pick up another 14 health. That'll be my turn. All right. So, Bauer, now make a deck save. As a question, is this only targeting me specifically? Yes. All right. Much better. You are not pulled underground by the rod. And I just had a horrible <laughs> thought. It's a horrible dream. Everything just tastes purple for a second. Purple monkey dishwasher, in fact. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Sour of. <I'm, I'm... laughs> This is, uh, this no. is another deck save. <laughs> <laughs> Not another con one. Oh, you have Rod on you. Now he's geez, trying to pull you uh, under. You barely succeed once more. <laughs> Man. <laughs> <laughs> You're being so inconsiderate. So inconsiderate. <laughs> uh, that's his lair action and his legendary action. Um, so Sadok, you are up. Alright. Uh, Tigura, you burned the corpses earlier, right? I stabbed one of them into nothingness, and so he couldn't eat that one. But it was because of the fire, right? There was no I, fire. I opted not to use fire, I just chopped it up. Okay. Uh, never mind then. Uh, I'm just gonna shoot the big guy some more. Okay, 13 will miss, 15 will miss, 17 will miss, the 25 will hit. Great. Alrighty. That was an effective turn. You did your best, and that's what matters. Therefore, no one can criticize you. That'll be it for me. Alright. Cristiano. Yep, um... So let's spectral armor, go over here, blast the sunbeam through both of them. Uh, does that hit Bauer? Um, I think How I far does sunbeam go? 60, 60 feet or 90? Yeah, 60. Okay, so then Bauer's fine. Melee is a fair... Uh, no, I can still go fair. this way. This is... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You are further than 60 feet from Kristana, so you're fine. Yo. Shit. Hey! This guy takes full. And starts leaking. Gonna keep going and go... Uh, through this boulder. Alrighty. There you go. Over here. Let's go and get there. Alright. Cool, 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 true. You are now over there after having sunbeamed the motherfucker. I do enjoy sunbeaming a motherfucker, yes. Alright. This oh, guy's going to come over and he's going to try and and he will fail. Right. And that's the only one of them left, which takes us to Bower. 
Bauer, you are still in his aura. Make a con save with disadvantage. Because you have a lot of fucking rot on you now. That will still succeed. Oof. So take 11 poison damage. Misclicked on that one. No worries. Alright, what do you want to do? Uh, yeah, let's start with this. Fair enough. All right, you regain 27 hit points. You want to smack a bitch? Yeah, I do want to smack a bitch. Smack that bitch. 24, 24, and 28 will all hit. All right. So... With all of the arrows and slashes and everything, um, despite his eating of his compatriots to attempt to heal himself, he is bloodied. He is bleeding and very visibly hurt. Hooray. He's still dead. Which takes us back around to his turn. Hmm. Someday one of you guys will fail a fucking deck save. He'll leave. Bowers reach. This gets him. Bauer, you can take an opportunity attack if you want. So this gets him 15 feet from both Diggeroy and Bauer. Yeah, fuck it, my phone. Aww. Well, oof. Biggest oof. So those are for Bauer. One's for Diggeroy. That one misses Diggeroy, I believe. 24 hits Bauer, though. Were those two attacks or one at advantage? But yeah, it hits. Yeah. Um, it's two attacks. He doesn't have advantage on you. Okay. So that's 35 damage for Bauer. Bonus action, he's going to grab the... Ah, oh, no! <laughs> Shit. Regain 18 hit points. And he can finally go get taken off the board. Um, that is his turn. Figaroy. He is getting progressively closer. I see that. No, sir, I don't like it. I am going to try this again. Am I? Let me look at my spell slots here. No, I'm not. I'm going to try that. Ooh. centered on you know how fucker excellent choice he just oh. excellent choice of save but oh. natural 20 um, also I'm gonna move alright Alrighty. You know what? I'm gonna bonus action drink another potion. 
This will be a All basic right. healing. Alrighty. So. Power, it really hates you. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Power, I need you to make another deck save for me. Bauer, you still succeeded. Yay! <laughs> no, I think that didn't... That was supposed to have my, cell, my uh, shield master on it. It didn't, so... Anyways, it, You still good. succeeded. Yeah. The number you needed was 18. Hooray. <laughs> Whoops, I skipped Sadok. Sadok, it's your turn. Alrighty. Hey. So the 14 will miss. The others will all hit. Should be a uh, 57, I think. Ah, uh, yeah. that sounds right. Alright. Despite all of his eating, he is slowing down. Every volley takes him uh, a little bit more hurt. Christona, you're up. Pew! Spectral armor! Woo! Whoops. Uh, he should have... That should be an 11, not a 1. Um, uh. The good news is you do finally kill the one that's right in front of you. Get the fuck away from that! Make me a Kanze for him uh, real quick. Yep. I'm not going to be so good at this. You can certainly try. <laughs> Christona, at long last, the fourth one of you picks up a layer of rod. Mm. Rip us. Yeah. Rip you. These guys are all dead. I'm going to take them out of the turn tracker. And this takes us to Bower. Okay. Do I need to start with the con save? Yes. Motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> there you go. So I, I rolled myself again, and it was a 26 before that 25. Okay. I will trust you. Uh, well, I mean, it doesn't matter. I was just saying it's funny to me. <laughs> no, 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 that's fair. Uh, take nine poison damage. Tank all the tanks. Tank all the tanks. Okay. Alrighty. Well, I think I have to do... Um... Mm -hmm. That. Yay! <laughs> that is fair. Alright, you pick up another 47 hit points as you down what I can only assume is your last potion of Supreme. Yes, I think that's my last potion all at all. Oh boy. Well, I've grown rather fond of him. I might have an addiction. <laughs> oh, I don't have a problem. You have a problem. 
Our drinking problem, but not with potions. <laughs> no, see, you can't have a problem with that. Or Bower can't. Anyways, um, yeah, so... Uh, 17 will bounce off of his, uh, roddy plating, but, uh, the other two will hit. Thank you. It looks like he's on his last legs. He's saying something because he generally has beefy arms instead. Yeah, somebody, a bro of his did not let, or a bro of his let him skip legs. Yeah. Indeed they did. Alright. So, the legendary action after your turn, Bower. Cristona, make a deck save. Yeah, that sounds about right. Because I have had very bad luck trying to force Bower to make these. You just barely fail. Yeah, that sounds about right. Alrighty. Uh, Cristona, mm -hmm. the rock pulls you underground. Yeah. You go up and down and all around. <laughs> as you are encased in rot. Uh, and eventually awesome find man. yourself coming to a stop. And you feel yourself faintly swinging. Oh, shit. Everybody make me perception checks? Yeah. Oh, shit. There is a new black pod hanging from the tree. Mm -hmm. hmm. And now it's his turn. Shit. All right, Bauer. He's annoyed at how you won't go. How you just won't go. That's like my best quality. So he's just going to turn to you and try and hit you through. And I think he's only going to succeed once. Is he? Twice. Twice. First and last. So he drops two. He drops uh, thirty-nine damage with his first hit, and solid thirty. You manage to parry. Uh, you manage to parry. You get a pretty good parry off, but there's only so much you can do when a when a monster the size of the house punches you. Um, and that is his turn. Diggeroy, you're up. Okay, I guess I'm going to do this. Woo! Hey, Diggeroy. Yes! How'd you like to do this? Yeah. He's got a head, right? <laughs> he sure does, poking out from the Tiny top head. of his big so ass body. Play around with this. I'm going to teleport around a few times, bouncing up the body as I slash here, there. Last one, though, take the face clean off. Yeah. All right. Diggeroy, you crack your sword out a little bit, fucking vanish. Slash your way up his body. Take his face clean off. Sweet. Drop in a perfect superhero landing on the other side of him as he falls dead behind you. Yeah, that's going in the poem. Now, where did Cristona go again? <laughs> she was over here, right? She was. Mm. There is a visible hole in the ground where she was. Ha! Huh. And you you all noticed that there is a new black uh, 
pod hanging from the uh, tree. Hmm. Okay. I I'm going to try reaching, like, down the hole to see if I can find bits of Christ something to Cristona to grab and pull up. Also, you know what was missing from this entire fight? What was that? Warhazer. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yep, he was. It's fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> um, everything is fine. Don't worry. Um, missing is maybe not the right word. Uh, you do not find anything of Cristona's in the hole to pull up. Mm. Ideas, people. <laughs> hey, Cristona, uh -huh. make a strength save. Oh, I'm great at those. Um, or strength check, whichever. Yeah. Hmm. You hit exactly the right number. Okay. Um. So as you uh, fumble around in your pod trying to puncture it, the rot seeps into you more. Oof. You take another 20 points of poison damage. I don't know what I was at because it was on my token. <laughs> oh, thank you. And uh, Cristona's head pops out from the new pod on the tree. What are the Myconids doing? They have fallen silent and stopped singing their song about coming to the tree. I'm going to cast They're not Levity on Cristona so she can come down without falling. I put my head out. Can I get the rest of it out? Yes. Okay. Yes, you can. I assumed you would not climb fully out immediately. Yeah. Am I incorrect? Yeah, that's yeah. probably a good idea. Um, all right. You slowly levitate to the ground, covered in leftover rot from the pod that you were pulled into. Get that off. And uh, sitting beneath the hanging tree. I don't and, think uh, I've ever needed a bath more in my life. Yeah. Where is my... <laughs> Do I have that right now? Uh, wouldn't have had it right now, I guess. Yeah, I was going to try to get rot off and not to dig right. Can I get a sense of what the hell this is? Magically, like this tree. Can I mm. get anything down from it? Can I try to throw a... As you, uh, well, thing number two, the rock column is dead. Its hanging tree is going to collapse. Oh. <laughs> um, Get out of the way there. So the tree begins to crumble and collapse. The pod's falling to the ground first. Um, 
What the fuck, roll 20? The pod's falling to the ground first. Um, and then the, uh, then the branches, and finally the trunk crumbles in on itself. The pods hit split, split open as they hit the ground. Out of one of them pops, uh, Warhazer. Mm. Fuck. Run over to him. Out of others pop. What look like they used to be people, they're heavily mutated um, and look like they're in the process of stretching. Oh. Can immediately cure wounds on a Warhazer. He, the uh, visible poison and acid burns on him, uh, Retreat. He is breathing. The hanging tree crumbles. I think that's where we're going to end for tonight, guys. Hmm. Freaky tree! Freaky tree! Do not want! I'm very glad. I'm very glad I eventually stuck that to one of you. <laughs> <laughs> Had to happen eventually. Uh, but yeah. That's some killer clowns from outer space shit. Yeah. <laughs> um. I hope you guys enjoyed that very long fight. <laughs> um, I did my best to throw go. enough different stuff into it to keep it interesting. Um, it was a very good fight. Good times. I'm glad. Yeah, I, I only have one superior dice left and nothing. <laughs> I have two first level slots. All of my second level slots. I actually never got around to using my sixth level slot. <laughs> Yeah, I had all my second levels. You still have third. I always find that my second levels are just like that awkward level that doesn't get used. There's a lot of good um, utility spells on second level. Yeah. Actually, Bower has a whole the most person is like him, my right? best one there. I'm gonna use my other fifth level spot to get the rod off of Bower since he seems That's fucking covered. Probably a good idea. Bower is the most covered in it. Yeah. I mean, what's not to love about being covered in the blood of your enemy? <laughs> Different. It the part where the glorious. the part where if you immerse yourself in enough of your blood in the blood of your enemies, you or in enough of the blood of your enemies, thing. well, or more. I mean, except for that really bad dream I had in the middle of that fight. It... <laughs> where do you think the uh, big rock golem came from? Mm -hmm. Fun thoughts for the end of the session. Mm -hmm. right? Um. <laughs> It's fine. I'll just be reborn and have to kill myself again. <laughs> That's the spirit. I mean, not for nothing. It's not like we don't believe there are spare bowers in the world. <laughs> <laughs> spare is maybe a strong word, but yeah, sure. We shall meet again. <laughs> yes. Yes. If Chris wanted to play another Bower. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, you will conveniently never run into another one and never get an answer for what the fuck, fuck! is going on with him. See, now, now, like, I really would like to do one again, but now I almost feel compelled to or forced to just get... The <laughs> <laughs> no, if you if you died and uh, if you died and you didn't want to play Bower, I would tell you guys what was going on. <sighs> Honestly, it's fun enough. I would all I would seriously think about doing it just because. <laughs> that is yes, Sidok. That is true. 
<laughs> uh, um, that is very true. But yeah, appropriate challenge level. Good fight. Everybody's satisfied. Nobody had us Hopefully. load. No, we did. We did hit that sweet spot where all all of us are almost completely out of stuff. Yep. Mm. Yeah. Good. I am glad. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> um. Yeah. Alrighty. So. Nomination. I think it's my turn. I think so. I have to go with Big Roy for the spare bowers there at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Coming That's in the fair. last second. Yeah. That is fair. All the stuff that happened that session. That's the one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, and the, and how do you want to do this? That also helps. Yes. Also, uh, you guys had a very hard fought fight and a very, this has been a long quest line. Take level 12. Woo! Cool. Woohoo! Wait, already, already level, level 12? 12. <laughs> yeah, you mean yeah, that's right. Take the next level. Yay! <laughs> level 13. <Next. laughs> level 13. <laughs> that level. You guys did great. Take the same level. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Take level 13. Hooray! Um, yeah. Take level 13. Enjoy it. Sweet. Oh, I will. What do I even... I have no doubt you will. Do what do you pick up at 13? I have no like, idea. Like, besides the proficiency increase? For fighter? Yeah, like indomitable or something. Another use of a dominant. Ooh, person. another use. Yeah, that's actually pretty nice. Yeah. Ooh, that is nice. I get seventh level spells, bitches. Yeah, you and Cristona get Yay. seventh level spells. I have no I wish... idea what Sudok is getting. It's a good question. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm taking another level. That is, the fucking, that is the fucking story of my life. <laughs> You could go ranger, you could go cleric, you could do something else. I don't I mean, know what I'm doing, that is my autobiography. <laughs> yeah, well, I could go ranger. There's nothing like really left for me in the class, other than maybe fourth level spells. Club Stalker 15 is not bad. It's just that the intervening levels suck. I, it's not worth Fair. it. Gloomstalker 11 the key one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Never mind. Gloomstalker fifteen does kind of suck. <sighs> yeah. I confused it with the other Ranger fifteens. Oh, that's up to you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know yet. Um, I promise that next campaign will be one where uh, you guys don't have to think about character progression from level one to twenty. Or from three to twenty, but I've it never done it before, so I enjoy it. Mm -hmm. That's fair. Yeah, no, building up this bar is not is not the problem. Yeah. You just chose a weird build that like maxes out at eleven level. level. It's like, oh, yeah. Yeah. okay. <laughs> no, it's it's running long campaigns is something. Um, so I think just. In general, I've been thinking that the next one will probably be shorter. Sounds good. Okay. We'll start you guys at like level 5. We'll probably finish at like 12, 13. I don't know. Cool. We'll see when we get to it, which won't be a while at this rate. Sounds good. But we must you become are... as gods first. <laughs> you are yeah. going to... You are going to meet somebody very important rather soon. Yay. And that may have some interesting and weird and wonderful consequences. Of course. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I bet he knows a bower. He kills us all. He very I feel well, like at this point, everybody very well might try. <laughs> well, that is, 
That isn't. I am stabbing him in preparation for y- for him trying to kill you guys. Well, you know they say if you stab it, they will kill it. Ah, uh, you can certainly fucking try. No, even when he <laughs> didn't stab the thing, we tried to kill it last night. <laughs> yeah, well, I. Sh- I should have known you guys would try to. Well, not not tried me. To kill I was it. already dead. So I should have known you guys That's would try to me. kill that. But no, this is. You can certainly try and kill him. <sighs> I'm hearing a challenge. Got it. <laughs> I think I think I've said the same thing a couple of times. There are no demigods on Ualia, but there are a few things that are the next best thing. Yep. Lesser demigods. I mean, Epic to your PC. I don't I've think seen. you have lesser demigods. You just have demigods and then not demi and then not. Demi- not for nothing. The difference between a demigod and a dude who can cast wish. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Surprisingly small. <laughs> That's fair. Remember, we're not allowed to do that or, shit, or else. Or Zalen might have Zalen. worked with you. Uh, when when you start getting to that level, you'll uh those of you who have that level of spellcasting ability will have a chat with Zalen. Um he'll send you another dream spell. Sounds like Zalen is Mr. Uh no fun pan. I mean, come on man. You think he doesn't have fun? He builds giant labyrinths and teleports people in from across Eualia just for his own amusement. Makes them fight to the death against his horrible tricks and traps. Right, right. If that, doesn't amusement. Sound, if that doesn't sound like a man who knows how to have fun, then I don't know what is. Also, tell me, was that Zalen last night? <laughs> huh? <laughs> the, when? The, the group that had to fight in the astral plane? Oh, no. <laughs> 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 that would be a gratuitous cameo, and I'm not a fan of those. <laughs> it seemed very just, much like his style. Just the same, just the same idea. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, cool. Yeah, I got nothing else for you guys. No more ominous proclamations or anything no more hallway laugh. I'd just like to make take a moment to complain about the crap 7th level spells that Bards get. Same. <laughs> what do you mean crap 7th level spells? Bards get Force Cage. I do not get Force Cage. Maybe Firestorm? I don't know. Uh, plane shift. Firestorm does kind of suck. Plane Shift I think is like the best one on this list. Think of it this way, Digroy. How many things have you fought? can be cool in the right scenario, but yeah, you wouldn't normally prepare it. Yeah, exactly. That's a day off spell. Okay, we need that guy needs his limbs back. Yeah. Well, don't because that's what that one. Druids are just prepared. Yeah. Yeah, they're prepared casters. The whole... All these. Yeah, but yeah you're preparing of... Firestorm because everything else is like not something you would normally want. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I ever use Mirage, uh, Mirage Arcana. Oh, no. Think of it this way, Diggeroy. How many things? Yeah. How many things do I throw at you guys that like teleport? I feel like this is a bait and switch, so there will be many in the future. <laughs> well, you guys. Like, I already have a bunch of like single target shutdown spells. That's the thing. That's fair. And force cages could do a heck of that. a lot better job than hold monster. Concentrationless. Or pattern, for that matter. It's concentrationless. Oh, it's up to you. Anyway, I'm gonna head off. Yep. All right. See you guys next week. Hey, See you next week. Yep. Later night. It was fun. Yep. I'm. Go- Playing D&D I'm a badass asexual polyjuice
treasure. That's so shiny, I'm a badass asexual polyhedral dice order. And my partners love me for it. I'm a natural 20 when it comes to being me. I'm a time traveler.